We're going to be looking at how to automatically create a new uh, renewal opportunity. <clears throat> so, you know, let's say you have a business that has a subs uh, subscription product um, or some type of uh, product that needs to be renewed after a period of time. Uh, there's an easy way to, you know, win one opportunity or close one sale and automatically create that opportunity or that renewal for the future uh, so you can track that and not lose track of it. So uh, in here, I'm just gonna show a couple things um, that I've edited so you can see them. So first I'm in the op or you know setup, I came over here to the setup gear. That's what takes us to you know this window that I was on. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the opportunity manager and I'm gonna go to the opportunity object since that's where I've made uh, a change. And if I go to fields and relationships and I look at the type field, this is the standard field that comes with Salesforce. I've just changed the two types from new subscription to renewal, um, you know, to have some indicator of, you know, if this opportunity exists, is this like a net new customer or are we renewing someone's contract? Um, and then the second thing we did, is we come over here into flows. <clears throat> And you can see here that there's an opportunity record triggered flow. Uh, and you see in, in little parentheses here, we say after. Uh, the before flows are used to create changes on the record itself. After flows are when you want to create kind of new records uh, or pool you know, information from run record and, and uh, update another. Um, so we use an after flow for this type of function. Now, um, if I go in here and just open this latest version, you can see that I'm also using um, another function on this flow. So if I come in here, I've just said, you know, the, the object for this flow is the opportunity. I want to fire this when a record is created and or updated. And then the action, uh, what I want to do is optimize the flow for actions and related records. Um, you can see here, if you read the fast field updates, that's the before trigger. Um, and it says update fields in the record that triggers the flow to run. We wanna create a new record. So this is a better option for us. Now, if I come over here to the decision, you can see all I'm doing is checking to see if the opportunity is closed one. So um, I wanna check if the opportunity is closed one and I only want, um, the, the flow to run if the record has been updated to match close one. So if I don't have that off, let's say I have, since my you know original flow here is set to record is created or updated, right? If I didn't have this option checked off here, let's say I had a close one opportunity, but you have people updating um, fields on that record after it's close one. If I hit, you know, edit, change a field value and hit save and the value is still closed one, then that flow would fire. So we're only wanting this to fire when the change is this change, if that makes sense. So from here, you can see I'm using like a custom uh, commission object. I'm creating a commission flow. That's one of our other related videos I'll, I'll link on here. But what I want to do for this example is create a renewal opportunity. So what I'm doing is taking a close date, I'm attributing a renewal a renewal close date. You can do this in various ways. Let's say uh, there's like a date field on the opportunity. Maybe you wanna just add a year to uh, when the opportunity was closed one. You can do a lot of different things with like that with uh, date formulas uh, or just pulling a value forward. Uh, I You can see here, I also have a renewal name, which I will show you. Um, and for the rest of this, I'm just setting the owner. So the same owner gets the same or the same owner gets ownership of the new opportunity. I'm setting the stage negotiation and the type to renewal. So if I come all the way back here, I'm going to go ahead into my sales app. I'm first going to go into my opportunities tab. And you can see here, I've created one view so we can see it. So I have my uh, opportunity created. It has its the renewal in the name. You can see the type is renewal. I'm the owner. 
Um, so if I'm going to go to all opportunities here, I'm going to find one that's in negotiation. I'm going to go ahead and say closed one. So the account name is Salesforce. So now we should see a renewal opportunity created here. And there it is, salesforce.com, 240 widgets, renewal, renewal type. You can see here, I didn't set the account ID and stuff like that in my flow, just for example's sake. Um, but all that stuff can be pulled forward. I didn't set the amount. Let's say you want to match the amount to the previous amount. Uh, all of that can be set using the flow. Uh, but this is a simple example of how to, you know, create a renewal opportunity uh, in any scenario, whether it's a subscription or a service uh, that needs to be uh, or a product that needs to be renewed over time.